Hi guys, Tungsten here. So it's been a while since I last made a video. So I thought I'd make this uh, video of this uh, uh, listing on the uh, website. Well, uh, it's not exactly a new file. I've known this listing for quite some time. All right. Uh, so now this particular blaster over here is basically modeled against the Apex Legend um, RE45. Okay, as you can see over here. So it's, I believe it's modeled against over this. It's, uh, it looks pretty pretty close, close, <laughs> I'll say. And yeah, so the uh, it comes with two colors, white and the black version. Right, and uh, the price is actually not that high. It's around $30 uh, SGD, I'll say. Uh, and uh, let's take a look. Right, so actually there is a video uh, that I can show. So over here, let's just go through the video. Uh, see what we can uh, kind of gather about this uh, particular this thing over here. Right, so it looks pretty big for a start. I'm not too sure whether it's the, uh, the uh, so called the uh, video angle or something like that. Right, so uh, we can see, yeah, I think it's pretty big. Well, uh, I do like this feature as you can see that uh, if you were to prime and uh, if there's no dust in the uh, magazine itself, it does not kind of spring back okay uh kind of uh you know when you know when it's the mag is empty i think this is a good feature over here and then of course once you reload probably you can just uh you know release it by a kind of push of a lever right okay uh, we call this the conqua all right uh feature over there but then again the way they prime it it looks pretty uncomfortable right so now we have the bottom you can see that uh, okay we back backtrack a little bit uh, how the magazine is released you can see that this is a the release over here interesting okay I think it, it's a bit small but uh, looks like it's pretty okay and I like it such that the magazine it actually holds slightly more ammunition right uh, more darts okay that will be great and the firing okay uh seems pretty pretty decent uh, but of course uh, if you were to get this probably i guess uh one we would like to modify it especially nowadays we have a lot of those um, ball bearing kind of uh scar uh, or we call it bar <laughs> i don't know <laughs> p-a-c-r i don't know <laughs> right so it seems to be going around all those ball bearing kind of uh no uh, attachment yeah that'll be interesting so this is a uh, in my opinion quite an interesting blaster so let's take a look at okay, it comes Okay, it just come with the blaster and the magazine itself as you can see with some uh, darts below right so this is one of the interesting listing that I find which model against the Apex Legend uh, RE45 right so this is a, a is something of interest right as you can see you no know, I think it's pretty pretty good in terms of looks uh, the barrel itself uh, seems to be uh, aluminium right and uh, I'll say the priming is the one that I'm concerned with. The side blade is also aluminium, if I'm not wrong. And the capacity is 12, uh, if I remember correctly. Right, okay, so this is one listing that is uh, pretty interesting. Oh, we have the dimension 26.5 centimeter. Wow, that's <laughs> that pretty long. Uh, yeah, so it. So this is one interesting listing. So if you uh, know, it'll be interesting to see the performance and the uh, modding uh, ability. Yeah. So I do like the fact that uh, you know, when the magazine is empty, we we'll try to prime. You, you will stop there, and then it's a good indication that uh, you need to reload. Yeah. So uh, that's one. Right. So there are others uh, kind of uh, listing. Uh, let me just quickly show i'll probably not make videos on the rest of the listing so let me just quickly show you this is another one okay this is like a flywheel all right 
so what is the difference so if we go down this looks like the kind of kind of uh, they took the concept from worker uh, dominator or something like that i can't remember exactly but the magazine actually you can stack the uh that's uh kind of uh, staggered and then it is like a six, six flywheel or you can actually purchase, purchase i think it's a single flywheel they also sell that but this seems like a uh, remake of uh, what worker uh, offer and if i remember correctly it doesn't work that well <laughs> i don't know but yeah uh, it's interesting at least the uh, look of this blaster now seems to be more aggressive not sure i like it or not probably not more towards not <laughs> and then last but not least i saw this all right so i think this is like a the d again uh, okay like i'm trying to find a better picture this is like when it's prime it looks a lot like the uh gecko right kind of mechanism but at least the external is uh, being a kind of a remake uh aesthetically uh and it's not just a very i think it's significant change to the uh outlook of the blaster so yep again it is injection molded not exactly that expensive um uh, around the 20 dollars 20 plus dollar range but i have less interest in this okay yep so again the the big interest is this fellow over here and uh oh yeah okay if i'm not wrong it does come with the new type of darts you know the uh, dart that uses the um the different kind of uh foam over here i forgot what it's called okay uh, but uh in in the uh, in, in in mandarin it's called qinglong qinglong one all right yeah so uh that's about it all right so not too sure you're interested <laughs> oh no it's called iron wheel <laughs> right so i'm tungsten thanks for watching bye